How to tell if you have a bad brake master cylinder. A brake master cylinder is a vital component of a hydraulic braking system in a vehicle. It is responsible for converting the force applied to the brake pedal by the driver into hydraulic pressure, which is then used to operate the brakes and slow down or stop the vehicle. The master cylinder is typically located beneath the hood of the vehicle, near the firewall on the driver's side. It is directly connected to the brake pedal through a mechanical linkage or a booster system. When the driver presses the brake pedal, a piston inside the master cylinder is pushed forward, forcing brake fluid through a series of hydraulic lines and hoses to the individual wheel cylinders or brake calipers. The fluid pressure then applies the brake pads or shoes against the rotors or drums, creating friction and subsequently slowing down the vehicle. The master cylinder also contains a reservoir that holds an adequate amount of brake fluid. This fluid is crucial for the proper functioning of the braking system, as it transfers the pressure from the brake pedal to the brakes themselves. It also compensates for any wear on the brake pads or shoes by automatically adjusting the fluid level. There are several signs that may indicate a problem with the brake master cylinder. If you experience any of the following issues, it's possible that your brake master cylinder is faulty. 1. Soft or spongy brake pedal. If you notice that the brake pedal feels soft or spongy when you apply pressure, it could indicate a failing master cylinder. A healthy master cylinder should provide a firm and responsive brake pedal. 2. Brake fluid leaks. Inspect the area around the master cylinder for any signs of brake fluid leakage. Leaking brake fluid can indicate a problem with the master cylinder seals or internal components. Look for wetness, stains, or a decrease in the brake fluid level in the reservoir. 3. Contaminated brake fluid. If the brake fluid appears dark, dirty, or contains debris, it may be a sign of internal master cylinder problems. Contaminated fluid can affect the performance of the brakes and may indicate a need for master cylinder repair or replacement. 4. Brake warning light. If the brake warning light on your vehicle's dashboard illuminates, it could be an indication of a problem with the brake system, including the master cylinder. Consult your vehicle's manual to determine the specific meaning of the warning light. 5. Brakes not engaging or releasing properly, a faulty master cylinder can cause issues with the brakes not engaging or releasing as intended. This can result in brakes that are slow to respond, brakes that drag or stay engaged, or difficulty in maintaining consistent braking pressure. 6. Loss of brake pressure. If you experience a sudden or gradual loss of brake pressure, where the brake pedal sinks to the floor or requires excessive force to engage the brakes, it could indicate a failing master cylinder. 7. Reduced braking power. If you notice that your vehicle takes longer to come to a stop or requires more effort on the brake pedal to achieve the same level of braking power, it could be a sign of a failing master cylinder. A decrease in braking effectiveness is a serious safety concern and should be addressed immediately. 8. Brake pedal pulsation or vibration, a faulty master cylinder can cause uneven or pulsating brake pedal feedback when you apply the brakes. This can be felt as a pulsation or vibration in the brake pedal, and it may indicate issues with the cylinder's internal valves or seals. 9. Brake fluid contamination in the vacuum booster, some vehicles have a brake booster that assists in brake pedal operation. If the master cylinder fails, it can allow brake fluid to enter the vacuum booster, contaminating it. You may notice brake fluid leaking from the vacuum booster or a hissing noise when the brake pedal is depressed. 10. Difficulty or inability to bleed brakes. When performing brake maintenance or replacing brake components, you may find it challenging to properly bleed the brakes. If air bubbles persist in the brake lines and cannot be eliminated, it could be due to a faulty master cylinder that is not properly pressurizing the brake system. It's important to note that while these signs are commonly associated with a bad brake master cylinder, they can also be indicative of other brake system issues. If you suspect a problem with your brake master cylinder, it is crucial to have it inspected and repaired as soon as possible. 
Brake system issues can significantly impact the safety of your vehicle, and it's essential to address them promptly. What causes master cylinder failure? Master cylinder failure can occur due to various reasons. Here are some common causes. 1. Internal seal degradation. The master cylinder contains rubber seals and components that can deteriorate over time. Exposure to heat, moisture, and brake fluid can cause these seals to wear out or become damaged. As the seals degrade, they may allow brake fluid to leak or prevent the proper transfer of hydraulic pressure, resulting in master cylinder failure. 2. Contaminated brake fluid. Brake fluid is hygroscopic, meaning it absorbs moisture over time. If the brake fluid becomes contaminated with excessive moisture or debris, it can cause corrosion, rust, and damage to the internal components of the master cylinder. This can lead to seal failure and a loss of hydraulic pressure. 3. Overheating. Continuous and excessive heat generated during heavy braking, such as when towing heavy loads or driving in mountainous terrain, can cause the brake fluid and the master cylinder to overheat. Overheating can degrade the seals and internal components, leading to reduced performance or failure of the master cylinder. 4. Improper brake fluid maintenance. Neglecting regular brake fluid maintenance, such as not flushing or replacing the fluid at recommended intervals, can contribute to master cylinder failure. Contaminated or old brake fluid can cause corrosion and damage to the internal components, including the seals and pistons. 5. Brake system contamination. If dirt, debris, or other foreign substances enter the brake system, they can accumulate in the master cylinder and cause damage to the seals and pistons. This contamination can impair the proper operation of the master cylinder and lead to failure. 6. Manufacturing defects. In some cases, master cylinder failure can be attributed to manufacturing defects or quality issues. These defects may include improper machining, faulty materials, or inadequate quality control during the production process. 7. Brake fluid contamination from incompatible substances. Introducing incompatible substances into the brake fluid can lead to master cylinder failure. For example, if the wrong type of brake fluid is added or if contaminants such as engine oil or coolant enter the brake system, it can cause damage to the seals and other components of the master cylinder. 8. Corrosion and rust. Corrosion and rust can occur within the master cylinder, particularly in regions with high humidity or where road salt is used. Corrosion can weaken the internal components, impair the movement of the pistons, and result in master cylinder failure. 9. Excessive pressure or over-tightening during installation. If the master cylinder is installed with excessive pressure or is over-tightened during installation, it can cause damage to the cylinder's internal components and seals. This can lead to leaks, loss of hydraulic pressure, and ultimately, master cylinder failure. 10. Age and normal wear. Like any mechanical component, a master cylinder can simply wear out over time. As the vehicle ages and accrues mileage, the internal components, such as the seals and pistons, may degrade and lose their effectiveness. Eventually, this can result in master cylinder failure. 11. Incorrect adjustment or improper installation. If the master cylinder is not properly adjusted or installed during brake system repairs or maintenance, it can lead to problems. Incorrect adjustment can cause uneven pressure distribution and affect the operation of the master cylinder, potentially leading to failure. 12. Damage from accidents or impact. A collision or impact to the front of the vehicle, particularly in the area where the master cylinder is located, can cause damage to the master cylinder. This damage can result in leaks, loss of hydraulic pressure, and failure of the master cylinder. It's worth noting that the causes of master cylinder failure can vary depending on the specific circumstances and vehicle. It's important to note that the lifespan of a master cylinder can vary depending on factors such as driving conditions, maintenance practices, and the quality of the components. Regular inspection and maintenance of the brake system, including the master cylinder, can help identify and address potential issues before they lead to failure.
How to care for the master cylinder. Proper care and maintenance of the master cylinder are essential to ensure its optimal performance and longevity. Here are some tips to help you care for the master cylinder. 1. Inspect the brake fluid. Regularly check the brake fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir. Ensure that the fluid is at the recommended level indicated on the reservoir. If the fluid level is low, it may indicate a leak or excessive brake pad wear, and it should be addressed promptly. Additionally, inspect the brake fluid for any signs of contamination, such as dark color or debris. If the fluid appears contaminated, it's recommended to have it flushed and replaced. 2. Follow the manufacturer's maintenance schedule. Consult your vehicle's owner manual for the recommended maintenance schedule. Adhere to the manufacturer's guidelines for brake system maintenance, including brake fluid flushes and replacements. Routine maintenance will help prevent problems and ensure the master cylinder operates optimally. 3. Avoid using incompatible brake fluids. Use the brake fluid recommended by the vehicle manufacturer. Different brake fluids have different formulations, and using an incompatible fluid can lead to damage to the master cylinder and other brake system components. Refer to the owner manual or consult a professional if you are unsure which brake fluid is appropriate for your vehicle. 4. Be cautious when working around the master cylinder, when performing other maintenance tasks or repairs that require access to the master cylinder, take care to avoid introducing contaminants or damaging the cylinder. Clean the surrounding area before removing the master cylinder cap to prevent debris from entering. 5. Address leaks promptly. If you notice any signs of brake fluid leakage around the master cylinder, such as wetness or stains, it's crucial to address the issue promptly. Brake fluid leaks can lead to reduced braking performance and compromise the safety of your vehicle. Have the master cylinder inspected and repaired by a qualified mechanic. 6. Avoid excessive heat exposure. Excessive heat can contribute to master cylinder failure. Avoid prolonged exposure to extreme heat, such as driving with heavily loaded brakes for an extended period or riding the brakes on downhill descents. Excessive heat can cause the brake fluid to boil, degrade the seals, and damage the master cylinder. 7. Seek professional assistance when needed. If you suspect any issues or have concerns about the master cylinder or the brake system, it's best to seek professional assistance. A qualified mechanic or technician can perform thorough inspections, diagnose problems accurately, and perform any necessary repairs or replacements. 8. Bleed the brake system. Regularly bleeding the brake system helps remove air bubbles that can accumulate in the brake lines and affect the performance of the master cylinder. Air in the system can lead to a spongy brake pedal and reduced braking efficiency. Follow the recommended bleeding procedure outlined in your vehicle's service manual or seek professional assistance to ensure proper bleeding. 9. Use proper bleeding techniques. When bleeding the brake system, Use the correct bleeding technique to prevent introducing air into the system. Typically, this involves starting with the brake furthest from the master cylinder and working your way towards the closest brake. Follow the recommended sequence and use the appropriate tools for bleeding, such as a brake bleeding kit. 10. Maintain a clean reservoir. Keep the master cylinder reservoir clean and free from debris. If any contaminants enter the reservoir, they can potentially clog the small orifices and affect the operation of the master cylinder. When topping up the brake fluid, use a clean funnel and avoid introducing dirt or other foreign substances. 11. Protect the master cylinder from moisture. Moisture can cause corrosion and damage to the internal components of the master cylinder. When working on the brake system or performing maintenance tasks, take precautions to prevent moisture from entering the system. For example, avoid leaving the reservoir cap off for extended periods and use a clean rag to cover the opening when the cap is removed. 12. Check for proper brake pedal feel. Regularly assess the brake pedal feel and responsiveness. If you notice any changes, such as a soft or spongy pedal, or if the pedal feels different than usual, it could indicate a problem with the master cylinder or the brake system. 
Promptly have it inspected by a professional to diagnose and address the issue. 13. Follow proper torque specifications. When installing or removing components related to the master cylinder, such as brake lines or fittings, follow the manufacturer's recommended torque specifications. Over-tightening or under-tightening can cause damage to the master cylinder or result in leaks. 14. Maintain good overall brake system health. The master cylinder is a critical component of the brake system, but it works in conjunction with other parts such as brake pads, rotors, calipers, and brake lines. Ensure that the entire brake system is well maintained, including regular inspections and replacements of worn brake pads and other components. By following these care and maintenance practices, you can help ensure the master cylinder's longevity and the overall performance and safety of your vehicle's brake system. Remember, if you are unsure about any maintenance or repair tasks related to the master cylinder, it's always best to consult a qualified mechanic or technician. They can provide guidance, perform inspections, and handle any necessary repairs to keep your brake system in optimal condition. That's all we have for you in today's video. It's very good to have you here on our channel. If you like the video, please smash the like button and do consider subscribing if you haven't already. We hope to see you soon with another video, until then, stay safe.